Hello YouTube friends, welcome to the Red Parrot channel. I am Mary Ellen, your host. As always, uh, today's episode is a craft with me where I am working on my random number generated coffee journal. I have no plans except to make progress, so I think that is uh, good enough. Uh, let's pull out our sheet from last time. So journal topper. Uh, I think I have made progress with the design. I wanted to do that. Um, this is paint and stencil, and I wanted to have that uh, stamped burlap sensibility. And this is Ada cloth, which if you were a cross stitcher, no, it's not. It's linen. It's linen used for cross stitching. And this is just some uh, brown paint. So we can work on that. Uh, pick papers for the two signatures. So I did that and it is currently in my book press. And so book press to me is a stack of an awful lot of books and um, including like dictionaries and all that kind of stuff to get it flat. I've never done that before, but I um, see Cindy at Studio Lou do it all of the time. And it occurs to me that that sort of gets the paper um, under a certain amount of control and might make sewing in the signature easier. And so that's what I'm hoping for. Uh, haven't sewn in the signature because we are busy doing pressing. I have done a few more bead wraps. So what does a bead wrap look like? So these are my fabric beads that I have wrapped and made. Uh, previous episode on that. Oops. And then I have just wrapped it with some of this stuff. And this is a thread, very, very thin, um, uh, like glitter thread that I got at the dollar store and also a piece of proper sewing thread, couple of versions of um, that weird metallic stuff. And I spun it. I do drop spinning. And so I needed to make something with a little bit more tensile strength. And so we have done that. It's um, uh, I spun it and then I plied it. So it's a double ply. That's a re this is a very big rabbit hole. Uh, and that's only because I have those skills available to me. If you don't, don't worry. So anyways, I was wrapping. So I did that one. Come on, there we are. And I did this one. And this one's got a bit sort of hanging out. Uh, did I do any more? I think I did this one as well, which is another. No, that's not, because that's not, that's not plied. But in any event, this is the beads I think that I'm going to use as part of the spine when I sew it eventually. And I need to do ephemera and pockets and some other stuff. So I am essentially going to faff around on a Saturday morning. It is gross raining outside, just chucking it down. So we're just going to play around for about an hour. And then when the hour is done, we might just stop. So I want to get this done. Mm, I want to get it done. So I'm going to see about glue. And I'm also thinking, so I brought my, my, my needles and this is just a bucket of thread. Well, bucket, it's a, uh, what is this? It's a, an old plastic dish of mandarin oranges. So I think that's, <clears throat> should be the design. And I've got this, so how should I put this on? So I think one of the things that I should do is do some sewing of that, this sort of random burlapy bit and also the popsicle stick. So let's try that. Uh, where's my thimble? There's my thimble. And this... These are just all the bits and pieces, scraps that I put in the dish when I am done, done doing a thing. 
and I don't want to throw it out. And it's, it's, there's, there's still good in it. Oh, we use that bit. Why not? Uh, uh, uh. Oops. I think this is the very first time I have made a uh, a topper. And I think I am well pleased with how it turned out. Well, it hasn't turned out yet, but I'm, I understand the concept a little bit better. So what do I want to do first? Mm, I wish there was... Oh, okay. So you know what? Let us go down the rabbit hole of Saturday morning faffing. Let's do a proper faff out. Um, what do I want? Oh, I have a story. So this is an all, A-W-L, in junk journaling, if you have been here for any length of time, you know that there is a whole tool, whoops, sorry, didn't mean to do that, a category called a pokey tool, which is just something that's got a sharp edge that you use to push and do and whatever. So... I watch a lot of other videos in other genres, and one of them is mudlarking and metal detecting and magnet fishing. And they too literally have pokey tools. Uh, it is exactly the same design. It is something long that's got a sharp little edge that jabby jabs, and they also call it pokey tools. So I think it's funny that Mm. So that was my, I wanted to see if I could put a hole in it and it, it, this wood will split. You can see it splitting there. Now I wonder if I should get another one. I have another one. Be right back. Of course I will. So this is one of the problems with uh, budgets, or one of the benefits of budgets. So I am making a coffee journal, something very specific, and I wanted to have these kind of stir sticks. And so I got these, I think for $1.50 at the dollar store. I will probably use maximum three. I will have 400 and 47 left. This is why uh, budget restrictions are useful because you're only going to use a little bit, or at least I am. So, crinkle, crinkle. Here. Now, what am I doing? I am looking. Ooh. Come on. That's fun. It's got a little bit of a burn on it. That's kind of neat. And I'm just looking for, is there anything that's interesting or colored? And so the little burn bit, I think, is going to be good enough. And there we are. Okay, so back to sewing. Back to sewing this on. There we are, good enough, good enough. Okay, just sew the thing. I swear one of the things that I do, it, so I adore textiles and I um, really enjoy sewing costumes. And I love sewing costumes that are, uh, wearable of course but durable in the wearing of it so that they have lots of stability they can take uh, crowds they can take the actual living in those clothes and as a result of that the build of it i am concerned with a lot of stability i'm concerned with you know the the rough and toughness of it and so on and so forth and when i make journals 
I have that sort of philosophy that I haven't quite let go of yet. And it's not like the journal is going to be kicked across the floor every day of its life. It is going to be cared for. It's going to be on a shelf most of the time. Um, it, you know, it might have uh first part of its life is going to be in a bag but even so at that you know bag isn't going to be in you know i i don't think you know floods and famine and and so on and so forth so it's just funny to me how careful i am to do the making of it with the same kind of expectation that it's going to be very very roughly used and it's not it's going to be fine mm -mm -mm. here we are oops here we are and oh, i'm supposed to keep an ort jar and i don't like keeping an ort jar there so there's that i could have glued it 100%. So I think that is kind of good. Uh, where'd the other bit go? Oh, yes. So then I kind of want to do that. Mm -mm, I need some more thready thread. Mm-hmm. Got some brown. But I might want to use that for there. Do I have any more? Oh, a little bit. Yes, a very little bit. Oops. There, and I am just going to sort of randomly do, well, literally the exact same thing I did for the popsicle stick or the swizzle stick. And that is just do some random stitches. I suspect I could have glued this as well. But I think we all have our guess we all have our biases and I have a huge bias towards sewing things and I also really really enjoy sewing things and part of the reason I think we do this is to entertain and give ourselves moments of pleasure here we are Well, that's okay, and I'm just gonna swing around here. Uh, let's hope we don't fall out of thread. I have no idea what I'm gonna do after this today. I had so many gardening plans today that have literally and figuratively been washed away. But I am glad I got a good chunk of a start, anyways, a start on the garden. And my mother, who was a farmer, I can hear her say, it's only April, Mary Ellen, you've got lots of time. But I think this is because of the nice weather that we've had that oh, I'm not going to have enough thread. That's okay. We had such nice weather and it's, uh, we're physiologically reacting to the, the warm, nice, sunny weather and not looking at the calendar and saying, as my mom would, hold up, it is not May yet. You are still subject to the, what would we call it? The vicissitudes of April weather. 
don't think I like this needle. Oh, the other ones aren't any better. Oh, this one's better. Is it? No, not really. Oh, we'll carry on. Oops. I get the right end. Nope. Well, talk amongst yourselves while I get the silly needle threaded. Ugh. Come on, you can do it. You can totally do it. I believe in you. Yes, there we are. See? Okay, this is barely enough, but well, it'll do. There, and then I think I'll just sort of do some tacks down here. Oops, oh dear. That's better. And as I'm sewing, I'm being careful to, uh, what am I being careful to do? To trap the spots where the thread has folded over so that even if there is a, a pull or a, a yank or something, that it is, that it stays stable. So this one is probably the other one that may need a bit of a stitch, but I've made sure that this one stays this way, this one stays this way, and that one stays that way. Yeah, good enough. I was thinking about hot gluing this whole thing as well, which is totally another option as the, I will call him the great Tim Holtz, famously says and reminds us every single day, you do you because you are the best you you can be. And that will show through in your art. For sure on that. So there, so I've got that and that. And then I kind of want that. Ooh, that's got a nice line to it. Yep, there we are. Okay. So, the next thing I want to sew, and I reserve the right to pick it out if it doesn't look right, is the coffee sign. I had to have a nice little talking to to myself with this uh, coffee thing because I was getting over over anxious about being very precise about it, and I then had sort of a an imaginary manufacturing boss uh, take me aside and say, "Mary Ellen, we are printing on burlap for." commodities that will never be used again you can be a little messy and so that sort of helped me escape the uh the trouble so where is this so i'm one i want to whoops i want to have this a little bit off i wonder if i should just do a little bit of a glue just so that it doesn't keep flopping all over let's do that
Yeah. Wow. That really does something to the glue, I'll tell you that. Okay, so that C comes up. There we are, that's a little better. Where'd my needle go? Here. Nope. There we are. Um, this might be useful. As it is. Pulling too tight. Oi. Easier. I've seen Meg at Meg Journals do this. She is not a, she is a self concessed not a sewer, but she has lots of really useful methods of which this is one to just sort of pre-stamp the holes to make it easier. Now then, do I go back or do I just leave it like that? Uh, let's go back. This is like when I was a kid, they had, so this is a million years ago, when dinosaurs roamed the earth, um, they had, dexterity toys where there would be pieces of cardboard that would have holes punched and you would take shoelaces and you would thread them and then if you were me you made your own by taking um the backs um of my dad's laundered shirts, they always came with some cardboard. And then I would stick a, um, a blank coloring book page on top. And then I would poke through holes. There, that's not bad. I'll do that. And then I would have uh, my own. And somewhere, somewhere, Bless my mom. There is something of that in the house archive because heaven forbid we should throw anything out. Um, that is going to be good enough. Ooh, here. Okay, so we've got coffee. We've got that. I think I need to make that just a wee bit higher. And then Oh, that looks kind of fun. I was going to do that, but that's, I'm not opposed to that at all. No, I probably do should, should do that, uh, do that. So I think this should go off the corner. Nope. Okay, why don't I just take the actual 
Oh, look at it chucking down. I don't know if you can hear that. It is just beating it down. Just straight down. There's no wind at all. There we are. Huh. So I there's like a conflict sort of of the two lines. Nope. Maybe put it on an angle. Yeah, that angle looks a little better. Okay, so what do I want to do here? Oh, look at it rain. So I think, where's my glue? I think I'm gonna start gluing. Um, what do I wanna do? I wanna do this. Okay. I need to do a little bit of unclogging. One side. What I am doing is just putting glue down the ridges of the cardboard and then just a little bit on the um, fabric. There we are. There's that. Need that little guy kind of buttoned down. Okay. Then just around. here. Put this right way around and mm, good enough. There we are. And I suppose I could just, I could stick it to the front, but I don't want to do that yet because I haven't sewn the signature in and I haven't done the holes yet. So we are going to call this done. Very happy with how that turned out. Yay us. Woo. That only took us half hour. <laughs> oh, just speeding right along. This is why it takes me a thousand years to do a journal. Uh, where's my little dish? There's my dish. There we are. Got that. We got that. That side. I need some place to put this. I'm just gonna swing that over here. There. Now what do we need to do? Now what? Now what? 
So we've got the journal topper done. So we've done that, sort of. Um, then the next thing we need to do are pockets and things. So pockets. So if I have, oh, we have to do math. Okay, so there's 15 pages. times two is 30 pages. And then if I do that, mm, it's not, it's 60, it's 60 sides. And then 60 every 2.5 sides. So I need to do that math that I cannot do in my head. And I'm just swinging over here to get my calculator. Uh, 60 divided by 2.5 equals oh, 24. So that is going to be 12 pockets per signature. Okay, now we have to figure out what pockets we want to do. So pockets really aren't just pockets. Pockets can be, do I have a sample of one? Somewhere, maybe. Pardon my boarding house reach. What I mean by a pocket is something that can attach a tag or a journaling card or a little journaling spot to the actual journal. So they are more mechanisms of attachment than they are actual pockets. So this would be, this would be considered a pocket. It does not go with the journal, but I have two here that I would happily use for this journal. So um, maybe let's just flip it over. So what do we want to do? So belly band. Uh, these are, what do we call these? We call these something. Ultra paper clips. We have wraparounds. Um, we have this sort of a, um, I call them triangle tucks. Yeah. And here's where I need my notes and I don't know where my notes went. Oh, library card, library pocket. Oh, I like these too. I don't know what these are called. Double V pocket. Um, what else? A side tuck. Um, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, uh, let's call it an envelope. Dip out. Uh, uh, 
I don't know what else. So, you know what? That is enough. That will be enough to keep us going for a bit. And then when we get to uh, having to do other things, we will, we will get this good start. Um, so let's do these because these are out. And I have a thought about these. <laughs> so this, I'm just going to plunk like that. This is another one that I have prepared. So those are two. Like, bada boom, bada bing, we're done. That's thrilling to me. I love these fabric uh, cluster clippy things. Cindy at Studio Lou did an amazing job March this year. She did a mass make March and I am really hopeful that she does another one because it was really, really fun and interesting and I learned a ton about what I like and I made stuff that I liked and it was so fun and I wanted to do another one but I also recognize that, man, when a creator does one of those things, it is a lot of work. I'm going to do it that way. Let's do it that way. For grinses. So I appreciate that it could really only be kind of a once a year thing. And also for us that, have, that are following along, it's, well, it's not. Not a huge surprise. It's a, a lot of work. It's every day for the month. And yes, yes, go. Just plunk it down. There we are. <laughs> oh, love to the power of the sun. Love to the power of the sun. These. Mm, aren't they yummy? They just look so good. I love them. Okay, so we've got ultra paper clips. Dunny done. Oh, and I know another thing I need to do. Speaking of Cindy's Mass Make March, and that is a shaker card. Little hearty heart. Um, so, screech to a halt. One of the things that I wanted to do with this is make a pocket. So make a pocket of the, the actual um, shape of a mug, which I think would be fun. So there's one is a mug, and then I think another one would be really fun to do is a, um, uh, this is, in, what is this? Uh, like a Tim Hortons cup, like a paper cup. Wow, paper cup. That's the word I was looking for. Um, okay, so let's do, let's do some triangle tucks. Because they're, well, I'm going to go out on a limb and say, well, very easy. And that's going to be the, the fatal flaw. I also have Come on. these, which was a poster that I got a long time ago at one of my art stores. You know how they can get them in all different things. And so I have got coffee ones. And I think one of these might make a really good shaker card. And I think it might need to be like that one. That one is fun. So that's also international symbol for I need some scissors. Here, that wasn't entirely straight. So some of these might end up being 
journaling cards or whatever. Uh, okay. Stop. Okay. The last time I made a shaker card, I made the shaker card too wide for the pages. And that's what that sudden stop was. It was me wondering if this was going to be narrow enough. And that's a mess of an edge. So I think I'm going to go for about an hour this morning. There we are. So that's going to be the shaker card. And I don't, of course, have any of the materials or any of the outlines or anything else, but uh, we have, that we have it cut out, that we have it designated. That's really great. Um, I kind of don't like the E, but that might be a fun pocket. I'm gonna get rid of that edge. It's just a hair. And I want to get rid of the E. There we are, good enough. Let's just be putting a little bit of glue on. There we are. That's two. Um, what do I need to do here? pocket. I sure do lose my scissors quickly. Now, what is it that we wanted to do? We wanted to. So what am I doing? I want to fold that up. So I need to take Oof! There we are. That's what I want to do. And this is just to take away some of the bulk of the paper. Here. And I'm not too fussed about that little edge there. That'll be fine. Well, oops, there we are, primavera I think is spring in Italian, but if it isn't, you're correct, oops, wrong way. Oof, not a happy cut. That's okay. We will be fine. Now, 
decoration might be nice, but um, I'm just sort of scanning around to see if there's anything fun. Yeah, so we could use some of that for decoration, I think. Oh. It's fine. It goes first. This one goes first. Eesh. Ah! So this totally did not want to do what it, I wanted it to do. Glue got all caught up because it's so fine. Wanted basically a square. This is also super squishy. The glue is, I mean. some pardon me ink oh I got blue everywhere wow the lettering sort of disappears with the inking. Oops, that's wrong way. I just want to. There, get rid of that. gentle. So we've got one, two, three, four. A thing for a shaker card. Practically finished. Oh yeah, so let's let's faff around with this design for a while. Ooh. this is going to go one of two ways. It's either going to be a single pocket that is not wide enough. I could just do that. No, you need the handle, don't you? So we either need the handle, and I need another sheet of paper, and it'll either be like a pocket to tuck into. It would be really fun to do that. Oh, okay, so what am I doing? What am I doing? I think what I am doing is I am going to trace, trace and cut two pieces. And uh, I'm not going to use my fountain pen for that. The pencil pencil. Mm. 
rooms. And where did I get this image? I got it off the internet. Uh, and then I blew it up. And then I cut it out. And then I made some modifications to it, particularly on the bottom where it got cut off. Okay, so there we are. Yep, okay. Oh, this is going to turn out cool. Maybe. Okay, I gotta move my hand here. Okay, now this is really only testing. So I have scrap pieces of paper and don't have to worry. Yeah, okay, that's good. Because if we do it for real, we can use different paper and we haven't done an entire proof of concept yet. Oops. There, okay. So. Where do I want the glue? So I want the glue. I could even sew it. So what do I want to do? I want to like this. Uh, what was that supposed to do? I need something to make a mark. Oops, come on, let go. At least make a... Make a fold spot. There. And I'm gonna do that. And this is just so that I can glue it and not get glue all over. So, here is my thought. Yes. So I can do that, and I can have this move. You can't see that particularly well. Not on this card, but the idea is if this is a page, and then I can do that. I have this moving. Oh, 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 oh. And so if I had it as a pocket, the other thing that I could do was I can put that in there. <laughs> okay, proof of concept proven. Um, now I need to figure out, so I can get a cup. I can make a cup. All right, so that's done. Um, I'm just gonna finish off the, the proof of concept 
and okay there we are Oh, I like this. This is fun. And I have maybe just the piece of paper. So this piece of, oops, this piece of paper might be a really fun coffee cup. Or no, this is, no, this is not a good coffee cup. This is paper. I could even do it of material if I wanted to. Oh. I am super excited now. Okay, so my whole point was, oops. There. And then, um, how big, how big? Oops, I just got it. There. Oh, and then decorate this. Yes. With like cinnamon shakes or whatever the heck. And then, no, we don't need to do that. Not that there we are. Okay. So I am going to leave us here because I am think done for about an hour. That's very good. So what did we get done? We got the topper done. We got the base of the shaker card sorted out. We completely invented this whole thing here, which I'm super excited about. Didn't mean to hit you. Sorry about that. We have uh, another sort of uh, flat pocket. We have two clips and we have another sort of uh, flat pocket. So we're getting there. Um, I think think I am quite happy with the progress. Um, I need to go have a, a cup of tea now and uh, sit and rest upon my laurel of which I now have one and I'm super super excited about this. And so we will see you again super shortly with more fun and uh, entertainment games uh, as we work on the random number generated coffee journal. Anyways, thanks so much. Hope you have a good Saturday. Hope it's a little bit drier wherever you are and we'll see you soon. Thanks so much. Bye now.